Hi there, parents. My name is Jessica Arnold, and I teach pre-K for MNPS schools. I'm going to show you today how we can go ahead and get you logged into Flipgrid. You're going to go to flipgrid.com. Flipgrid works best on Google Chrome or um, Microsoft Edge. At the very top, you're going to enter a join code that your teacher gives you. I've made a pretend code for today. And then it's going to take you to this page. You're going to press join with Microsoft and you're going to join with the MNPS email that your teacher has given you. The MNPS email and the password that your teacher will give you for your students. I already have mine saved, so I didn't have to enter the information in. This is what your Flipgrid will look like. The topics are what we call the assignments, and you can go ahead and see your assignments all at once by pressing right here, view three topics. That's how many I've made in this pretend group. Um, and you can go ahead and click which topic you want to do. So the topic is going to have a title, some directions by text and a directions in a video. Um, the really cool feature here is you can use the immersive reader and it's going to read it for you, but you can change the language over here in reading preferences. Translate. Let's say I want to change it to Spanish. Press the word document or click this document feature. It's going to change the. It's going to change the words into Spanish, but then you can also have it read to you in Spanish. Díganos su nombre y qué edad tiene. And there are the directions in Spanish for you. So that's a really cool feature and there are lots of languages available. So your teacher is going to give you an assignment. Tell us. Uh, tell us your name and how old you are, and then you can also watch her tell you he or she. Um, you can watch your teacher tell you what the um, what the assignment is. You would press record a response. You can also press it right here. I wanted to show you that I already have an example here, but I can show you first how we record a response. So there's lots of different features here that you can do to make it fun. You can see some of those here. The most fun are the special effects. You can change the filter, the frames, you can add stickers, text, uh, you can add a photo, you can draw on your picture. So lots of fun things to do there. But this is how you film your video. You press this red button and it counts down. Hi, my name is Jessica and I am 28 years old. And it's as quick as that, um, depending on what the assignment is. And your teacher may make this longer. Then you press next. Hi, my name is Jessica and I am 28. You can review your video, you can add more, you can cut out pieces. You press next. Then you have to take a selfie. And you can edit your selfie after you've taken it. Press next again. It'll upload your video. You don't have to add anything there and press submit and complete. Now this is moderated. That's just an extra safety measure that your teacher may take. Um, so don't upload more videos. Wait until you can see your video. If it says video submitted, you're good. You don't need to um, upload another one. Your teacher will then go in and approve that message. And then the next feature that I want to show you how to do is I want to show you how to uh, talk to one of your other friends. So let's go to a different topic. This tells me that um, people have responded, that students have responded. So letters in your, your name, I'm going to respond to this friend. First, you want to watch it and see what they said. This friend tells you that they have seven letters in their name. So you would respond to them by either pressing record a response or add a comment. 
And then this is an example of what a friend's response would look like to another friend. And that is Flipgrid. Thanks for watching and have fun.